Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency, not cryptocurrency technical analysis video, uh, where I have a very different one today, which I truly believe is going to get your brain engaged, it's going to get you thinking, it's going to get you curious about the other types of markets that are out there, and how they are directly correlated to Bitcoin, where you more, you know, let's say you're a, a viewer of mine, because this video, that's, let's be honest, is pretty much solely focused on cryptocurrency, you know, main focus is Bitcoin, and I'm going to show you today how even if you only trade Bitcoin, you should definitely be tracking other markets, okay? Because there is a direct correlation between them. We all know the correlation, because I've spoke about this quite a lot, between the S&P 500 or the ES mini futures contracts and, and, and Bitcoin. No, you can see correlations between gold and Bitcoin. You know, there's, there's Bitcoin has correlations with other markets. And today I'm going to go through a few stocks, in particular one, um, you know, and show you correlations between the assets, how, you know, they are absolutely directly correlated and on one day you could have a five percent move on one and the other you know the other one's moving up ten percent so we see you know extreme moves on on some of these stocks up against bitcoin moves so yeah i hope that you enjoy today's uh video obviously i did post it over on twitter how many people are interested in a stock market i was going to originally talk about nvidia but i'm not going to talk about nvidia uh nvidia is like my baby it's one of the, one of the coin well, i was going to say a coin it's one of the stocks that i absolutely love and i uh, Fun fact, I'm actually one of the biggest holders of NVIDIA in the world. So NVIDIA is very dear to me and has made me too much money, maybe. More, well, anyway, I digress. NVIDIA is what I love, the number one stock, of course. And I was debating, should I cover Tesla? Should I cover Airbnb? Tezos, Tesla. Oh my God, My, you can tell <laughs> I spend the majority of my day now looking at cryptocurrency. Um, but obviously my whole background, FYI, my whole background is obviously from the stock market. So, uh, you know, the stock market is very close to my heart. It's where I kind of made myself as a trader. And although I do not day trade the stock market anymore, I am always looking for new trades. You know, I'm always taking swing trades on the stock market. So although I'm not actively talking about it <laughs> online, uh, you know, in public videos, I, I still actively trade the stock market, okay, every week. So um, yeah, we are not gonna look at Bitcoin today. We are gonna actually take a look at micro strategy. Okay, so micro strategy, you might think to yourself, well, why, why, why micro strategy? What's, what's going on here? Well, micro strategy, as you may or may not know, I probably do know, is obviously the M Michael Saylor's um, company. As we all know, micro strategy are heavily, heavily, heavily invested in Bitcoin. So because they're, you know, because they're so heavily invested in Bitcoin, there's a direct correlation between Bitcoin going up and obviously the price of micro strategy going up. If Bitcoin goes down and we see micro strategy go down and we can kind of see sometimes heads up on moves. The other one that I obviously trade is Coinbase. Um, so yeah, obviously, of course, Coinbase is going to be correlated to Bitcoin and so is micro strategy. There are a few other, you know, you could look into mining companies. You know, there's so many things that are correlated to it. But in this video, you know, I could make the video like, you know, an hour long and talk about all the different correlated mining assets, etc. I want to just primarily focus on micro strategy in today's video. Uh, a little bit of a look at Coinbase as well because it's really, really, really interesting. Um, so yeah, I hope that you do truly enjoyed the video as always i would say please hit that like button and um yeah leave a comment down below of whether you like me looking at the stock market would you be interested in me covering more things in the stock market or do you want to just down you just look at bitcoin <laughs> let me know down below and i will of course read every comment that we get so starting here then with micro strategy uh the first thing that i should should say i suppose is um the method of analysis that I use on Bitcoin is the exact same analysis that I use on altcoins, is the exact same analysis I use on commodities, is the same analysis used in the stock market. So this is the great thing. Once you have learned how to trade, you can apply these skills on any market in the world, period. So it's, it's no different for me. I trade it the exact same way. And so when we're looking at micro strategy, what is our number one fib level that we will always look at first? You know, this is just our bread and butter right now. Fibonacci, CC level. From the high of our current move, we'll take it down to the current low. And you can see here, we're talking about to the exact dollar, by the way, the exact, exact, exact dollar move. The high of this rally come right into the CC. Okay, we come right into the CC. And you can see, 
we got obviously a pullback here and, and this is something that you might find funny it doesn't look like a massive pullback but this is a 10 percent pullback by the way high of the cc to the low of that wick 11 percent pullback so these moves are really big and i said i said I'd, I'd correlate this to bitcoin so what you might find very interesting is micro strategy comes up to the cc resistance naturally traders within the stock market would be shorting this level okay and taking profits on longs and what is really interesting is that simultaneously while micro strategy is hitting major resistance is when bitcoin was obviously hitting um $69,000 okay so we saw a direct correlation between bitcoin coming up into resistance micro strategy coming up into resistance and you may you, hopefully you can remember but back on the 10th coinbase was it was a funny day because uh, this was on, on the, the, the 10th of November. We had Bitcoin hitting $90,000. We had MicroStrategy hitting the CC. And on the day, Bitcoin was up 4%. MicroStrategy was up 2%. And what we actually saw was Coinbase at the time down 6%. And this is like one of those things that I say as a heads up that we are seeing we are seeing resistance here on Bitcoin. As you all know, $69,000 for me was a big resistance level I'd been waiting for. was happy to short it. Um, MicroStrategy was at the CC. And on a day with Bitcoin and MicroStrategy positive, we were seeing actually Coinbase down 6% at the time. This is while Bitcoin was at um, $68,800. Easy, we were coming back into that CC. And so it's like by looking at the stock market on that day, it has given us a really, really big level of confluence or extra confidence to take positions on Bitcoin. Even though we are maybe not directly trading micro strategy, we're not directly trading Coinbase, by being aware of these stocks and the levels, it has aided me personally to take a decision on trading Bitcoin. I already wanted, oops, sorry. I already wanted a short 69K because it was part of my whole plan, but it, it's just that extra confidence booster almost, or that extra layer of confluence that many people are gonna miss. They're just gonna miss this totally because they do not track the stock market. But as somebody that <laughs> tracks the stock market religiously, um, you know, it's just another level of confluence to be aware of. Hey, we're here seeing micro strategy hit resistance. We're seeing Coinbase pull back. Is this a heads up? Yes, it absolutely is. And then obviously Bitcoin, well, give it a few hours later, we obviously pull back from $69,000 all the way back down to, uh, you know, 62,000, where we obviously found support. We're coming back up into the, the daily level currently. Um, what you have to remember is that micro strategy and Coinbase, et cetera, they, they are currently closed. So the market closes in the stock market. This is going to open at 2.30. So we're talking nearly about another four hours. Uh, currently pre-market up $2, but this is, this is not big, the pre-market. Yeah, they're not gonna, it's not going to be a massive difference. So we're going to open more or less up where we closed on Friday. Uh, currently, the ES, I mean, this thing is just insane. I wouldn't even be surprised to see another all-time high on the ES. Uh, but obviously, this looks for... No, it's, 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 it's Monday morning. It's, it's hardly had any volume injected into it. But one would, one would say it's, it's likely we hit a new all-time high on the ES this week. Uh, micro strategy, again, if we can get through this CC, then we'll, one would expect to see that $1,000 be coming up fairly soon. But of course, this CC is a big level of resistance, in my opinion. And then I just want to show you actually a really interesting bit of price action that I could remember. And that was from February 2020 on Bitcoin. OK, so on February 2020 on Bitcoin, we had something very, very, very similar occur. This was obviously back at that $10,000 level. So what we saw on Bitcoin, uh, if you can remember, was obviously from the high that we put in on June to the low that we put in December 19, when we took off from this high to the low, we all know we came up into the CC here and we got we got a major pullback on, on Bitcoin. For me, the price action seems similar with the way that we put in that first high retracement, second high touch. When we look back at micro strategy, it just for me feels, feels similar. Obviously, on a different extent, this is a lot quicker, but it just feels similar to me where we put in the high, we come, we search a new low, we come back and test that CC. Obviously, this is the thing. This CC level for me is, is a big resistance. And the way that we could, if we do get this pullback on, on Bitcoin, the way that we could join the harmonic is obviously X, A, B, C, D, which does bring us up to that $1,000 level. This would be very dependent on obviously not breaching that last high, because the, the thing is, if we breach this last high, that's coming in at about $885. I would, I would personally expect $1,000 fairly swiftly. We would take out that 
we would take out those two highs. And the thing is, if we are breaking above 888, well, yeah, let's just say $890, it's very likely Bitcoin is breaching all time highs as well. And then obviously, you know, I mean, we can again look at the Coinbase stock, we can look at MicroStrategy, we can look at Bitcoin and, and form a, you know, more formulated plan. But one would, ex I would expect MicroStrategy to be pushing up towards a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars is more just a psychological level. It's not an, actually a very technical level of resistance here, but it is a big psychological level. And again, the way that you would trade micro strategy at a thousand dollars is what's happening on Bitcoin right now. You know, for example, if Bitcoin is trading eighty thousand dollars and there's no resistance close by, and micro strategy is is at a thousand dollars, well, you would expect it to push on past it. You know, one thousand and fifty, one thousand one hundred dollars, etc. Like keep pushing. If Bitcoin you know, is at a major level of resistance and we're expecting a pullback. And at the same time, simultaneously, micro strategy is at $1,000. Well, then the, pull, the, the the probability of a pullback greatly increases. So this stock is extremely, extremely correlated to Bitcoin. OK, if Bitcoin is up, this is going to be up. If Bitcoin is down, this is going to be down. And the way that you can use it, you know, bringing it and wrapping this up, the way that you can use this, even if you do not trade it, is being aware of levels of resistance on market strategy, being aware of levels of resistance on Coinbase. And if we see three stocks coming together at the same time at resistance, the, 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 the chance of a probability is greatly increased. Likewise, if they are all sitting at major support, the, you know, the probability of a bounce is greatly increased. So yeah, this is kind of just a, a tip video, I suppose, of even if you do not trade these markets, I, I truly think it's worthwhile tracking them. Okay, even if you, you do not plan to ever take a trade on them. Um, again, personally, I, I, I love to trade the stock market on a long term time frame. I'm, I'm not day trading it because all my focus is on Bitcoin on the on the daily trades. But for for like weekly trades, monthly trades, you know, trades that I'll ha happily hold for years. Like I've been holding <laughs> video for many, many, many years. So it's like in, in that time frame and that, you know, in that perspective, it doesn't require too much work for the for the profits that you make because obviously the stock market is extremely 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 bullish like you think bitcoin is easy to make money like in my opinion the stock market is is easier <laughs> because <laughs> no financial advice but pretty much all i do is buy um and <laughs> just things just keep going up <laughs> long may that live but um yeah it's a bit of a different video today it truly was i hope that i've kind of i don't know like opened your eyes to other markets briefly. I know this has been a very quick video and I could do more videos, a lot longer, more in depth. If that's something you're interested in, again, let me know. Um, but I, I, I do hope that I have assisted you somewhat in this video, opening your eyes, giving you some extra levels of confluence that you can look for. If you have enjoyed that, as always, I will appreciate that like down below. And um, yeah, I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this one. Thank you ever so much. Have a good day. And that's me saying goodbye. Cheers.